All right, Rachel, break this down to me. I don't know what these uh, folks hope to achieve because it seems to me if you fund a spoiler and if you're successful, and we'll get to the fact that they're not going to be successful in a moment, but if they are, for the sake of argument, then they're essentially partially responsible for putting a radical like Bernie Sanders in the White House. <laughs> They are, and I think this is exhibit A of Trump derangement syndrome breaking people's brains. Because again, these are avowed conservatives and Republicans who uh, I think we would call useful idiots uh, for the use of the mainstream media in electing someone like Sanders or Warren or someone who would do uh, immeasurable harm to this country. And more than that, they also want to go after Republican senators who they think are supporting Trump too heavily. So not only do they want to elect Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren, they want to take out the Senate majority. And you have to wonder, what is their goal here? Uh, it's so nonsensical to their purported aims that, again, I think Trump has broken their brains. Well, and here's my question. These people claim to want a purer, truer uh, version of conservatism to be the conservatism of the Republican Party. But if you fund a spoiler with the intention of defeating President Trump, which would result in a radical like Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren being president, how does that make you a conservative? And how does that make you any better or any different than the radical left? It's a question I would like to ask them because again, as you point out, their outcome is a truer conservatism, a return to normalcy, whatever that is. But they are purporting to elect a socialist because they are pushing to be a spoiler. So if that's their end, I don't, I don't understand how this is achieving it at all. Uh, because, as you point out, it's going to distort the election so much that the mainstream media is going to use their backing of anyone other than Trump as a means to support someone like Sanders right. or Warren or, or any of the Democrats that are running. Well, it kind of reminds me, too, of... Uh, the nonsensical, illogical view that someone says, I'm personally pro-life and against abortion, but politically I'm going to support other people's right to choose. That doesn't make you pro-life. It makes you enabling abortion. That makes your public facing persona, your support, you're throwing your weight behind abortion, even if you claim personally to hold those values. You're not really living those values. You don't really hold the values unless you're living the values. That's the same thing with these guys. They can claim to be about character. They can claim to be about fiscal conservatism. They can claim to be about whatever version of conservatism they find to be lacking in the Trump administration, and their accusations are mostly ridiculous. Uh, but if they claim to be conservative personally, but then they're supporting a policy position that would result in a radical leftist, I don't even know if you can call them conservative. 